Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a pour today, but first I have some celebrating to do. I have reached a milestone of 7,000 subscribers. Now, I know that's small potatoes for some of the YouTubers out there, but it's a big deal for me. So I want to thank you for your support, and I'm going to do a giveaway of seven paintings. So here's what we got going. Some of these I've done videos on you may recognize. This was a fairly recent one. It came out pretty fun. So that's one, two. Now this is a funny one. This was our, uh, I was testing Arteza Metallics and I didn't varnish it, but it's quite shiny. So I'm not going to varnish it. Um, I used a hairdryer on it to blow out this ring pour and it came up with this kind of abstract iris, I guess I'd call it. Anyway. So that's kind of fun. This one was a embellishment video I did. If you're interested in this very simple, very, very simple embellishment, you can find that in my playlist. I have not yet varnished it, so I will do that. This one I haven't varnished yet and it's got some gold in it. So I think it'll be pretty when it's done. Uh, that's what number four. This one is number five. I have varnished this one and I made a rookie mistake on this one as it was drying. I didn't have it level and it pushed down that away. So that's too bad, but it's still fun and pretty, I think, with the nice lacing and all. So that's number five. What would a giveaway be without one of my ring and ribbon pours? So that's that one. And I noticed there's some blue on here. It must have been leaning up against something else, and I'm sorry about that, but I, you have to almost hunt for it. So I think it's still pretty worthwhile. And then lastly, uh, I've got this little little uh, gal. I embellished this uh, cloud pour. And she comes framed and ready to hang. So there you go. Seven paintings for you. The criteria is uh, I would like you to be subscribers. Mm, other than that, all you have to do is leave a, leave a comment down below. Because I'll use the random comment picker to do the drawing on the 9th of March. That gives you about a week. I think uh, today's the third. And um, um, I'll do the drawing on the, on the 10th, actually. So comments are due by the 9th. And I don't care where you live. You can live in Siberia and I'll send it to you. So um, I've had a great year. 2020 was a wonderful year for me. And 2021 started out great as well. So I've been blessed and I am happy to send these off to new homes. <laughs> so let me put this aside, get set up for the pour, and I shall be back. Okay, I'm, I'm back. I'm going to be using Artist Loft and uh, Ready Mix Pour Paints. I'm going to do Swipe. But first I want to show you the dried results of the Happy Birthday Party Pour I did the other day. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. It dried really nicely and the lines stayed nice and crisp. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I didn't do that the other day. And I noticed all the colors are opaque. You could tell because as they crisscross over one another, they don't show through. So that was kind of fun. And um, I'm almost thinking of adding little sprinkles of confetti painting on there um, to just make it even more of a party pour. So you could tell me what you think about that. <laughs> so there we go. Now I have diluted the uh, Artist Loft paints with a glue and Floetrol mix. Five parts Floetrol, two parts glue. Was that it? Five and two? I'll have to double check that. I, I'll put it down below. And, um, yeah, I'm sure that's what it was, five and two. And then I'm going to add a little bit of silicone to my swipe color, in this case, red. So let me do that for you now. Two drops. One, two. And stir that in really well. I'm picking some strange colors, um, orange, 
white, silver, and gold. <laughs> and red swipe, so I hope I have enough contrast. We'll see. So you may be able to see the remnants of a previous pour on here. I hosed it off. It was not good. All right, so um, I think I'll just put them on in a stripey effect, make a little wave to it. Although, you know, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to tilt it to get good coverage. You know, maybe I'll hold off on any more orange for now. Gold, and they all look a little washed out right now because of the glue and flow trawl that I added. But um, they will dry nice and vivid because those will dry clear. Silver. <laughs> you hear that squeaking? It's very windy here today in California. That's my um, American flag right outside my room here. Squeaking away. What else? White. I was going to swipe with white, but I... I um, didn't mix enough red. Well, I actually, what I happened was I ran out of medium. And so I mixed what I had left and decided that would be my swipe color. Okay, let's see. more orange okay move that around to get a nice smooth coverage and head over the sides a bit oh I've got a big gap there I think I'll fill that in with gold do that now Oh, I forgot to get my what I'm going to swipe with. I'm going to have to pause and and get that, figure it out. I'm not sure. I think I want to do a, a something that will swipe the whole surface rather than little um, sections at a time. So, excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I couldn't find the nice uh, little bit of foam that I like to swipe with, so I'm going to try freezer paper instead. It's got a waxy side to it, and maybe that'll be wonderful. We'll see. Okay, I've got some red. I also have some black I mixed up. Initially, I was going to add black for contrast, but um, I don't know. I decided against it. I'll, I'll put I'll swipe one way with red and see what I like, how I like that, and then I'll decide maybe I'll try black on the other. Just experimenting here, folks, right? Okay, so here's the red. And here we go. I'm not sure it's making good contact. Oh well, here we go. All right. I 
guess it was. I just... Oops, my husband just drove up. The dogs are going to start going nuts. Oh, never fails. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any silicone in the black. I'm going to pause a second before he walks in. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Um, I was going to do black with this, on this other half, but I, it would just be too great of a contrast. So, But I don't want to just do another side of red or it's too blah. Look how those cells developed while I was gone there. So I added a little bit of silicone to the orange, and I'll do the other half orange swipe. And that way maybe I can use this background for uh, a painting of poppies or something. So, here we go. And I also cut off um, a strip of used freezer paper and it seems to be, seemed to work really well as a swipe tool. So I'll do that again over here. Okay, that is bright. <laughs> Um, what to do? Wonder. I'm gonna sw I'm gonna add another thing of red and uh, will that defeat the whole purpose of going orange? I just not sure about. I don't like that line there. Um. And move it a bit. If I decide to embellish it, you know, it doesn't matter what what I have there. I can disguise anything with brushwork. I'm just going to get a lot of movement in here. It's so fun to play with these paints. I think diluting them is a lot of fun. And they dry really nicely. No, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, that side is far more attractive than this side. What to do? That's kind of pretty down here. Maybe I'll take maybe I'll take black and swipe the whole thing. I'm going to. Let's make a huge transformation. I don't want to waste add um, silicone to that whole cup, so I'm going to just pour some in here. I think one drop of silicone should be 
plenty. Mix that in well. <laughs> okay. I like that. Oh, well, uh, that's the only part I like, so. <sighs> yeah. Let's see what comes of this. Paper has a little paint on it, but who cares? Oops. And again on that side. Huh. Sure changed the look of that, didn't it? Now it looks like fire. Look at those cells. Isn't that fun? Um, let's see. Just take a, a small thing and swipe that part I missed. Over here. Now I'm just going to move it around to get some movement in the center there. I guess I could have gone with the black to begin with and it would have been okay because I kind of like it. I'm trying to get coverage on this edge here. Lesson here, as is often the case, don't give up. <laughs> You're, there's lots of things you can do. I'm starting to really like this. Now I'm going to come that away. I'm going to fix up the one corner that I originally liked. It looks odd. go. Wow, I'm liking this a lot. I just want to get this black stripe. I want to kind of go with the diagonal. Oh, look at that. It looks like butterfly wings. 
and move the weight down here. And then just send it this way a little bit. Okay, I think I'll stop there. I like it. Took a while to get there, but um, I'm pleased with it. Just one little corner up here. Looks out of place. <laughs> Gotta fix it. Okay, I'm stopping. I really am. Oh, let me bring you in for a closer look at this. I love these cells, this mix of Artist Loft, Floetrol, and Glue. Sorry about the glare of the light there. Quite fun. Well, that was a long road to get there, but um, I'm happy with the results. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching, folks, and thanks for subscribing and the 7,000, and I wish you all uh, good luck with the drawing next week, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.